beautiful day. Clark did not have the benefit of the wooden staircase. He climbed up here in July and he takes out his pocket knife and he carves his name and the date, but this one appears to be real. So it says W. Clark, July 25th, 1806. July 25th, 1806, Clark is here with about half of the expedition. So every time I'd come here to see Clark, sort of la-dee-dee, la-dee-da, I'll carve my name, and so climb up and see what we're looking at, maybe kill a buffalo for supper, eh, start tomorrow, maybe sleep in a little. That's Clark. And just at the same time, about 190 or 200 and some miles northwest of here, Lewis is having the greatest crisis of the entire expedition. And the only bloodshed in a skirmish occurs up near the eastern portal of Glacier National Park at the end of July 1806, and Lewis and his men kill two Blackfeet. So Pompey's Pillar is named in a double way. So there's a Pompey's Pillar from the Roman general Pompey, rival of Julius Caesar, but Clark nicknamed Sacagawea's son Pomp, or Pompey, and he called him my dancing boy Pomp. So he had this great affection for this infant. She was, the child was born at Fort Mandan, so it was not even two years old when they got back in 1806. And the, the Charbonneau family, Charbonneau, Sacagawea, and, and Pomp, Jean-Baptiste, are traveling with Clark at this point. This is one of the great Lewis and Clark places. And again, how many places can you say, I'm actually where they were, I'm actually where they stood, I'm actually where they camped, I'm actually where Clark took out his knife and carved his name. Of all of the places on the Lewis and Clark Trail, there are conjectures about the campsites here and there. We're not even quite sure where Fort Clatsop was. We're not quite sure where Fort Mandan was. Most of it is approximate, but conjectural. But there's absolutely no question that on July 25th, 1806, Clark stood here. So coming here, you get to see what a a Great Plains River looked like, because it still looks like this, except that we've erased the grizzly bears, most of the bighorn sheep, the wolves, and so it's an erased magnificent landscape, but it's still absolutely magnificent. So it's on to Billings. Mm -hmm.